I'm ready for concrete tomorrow. Have my form set, my rebar in, anchor bolts. What we have in the middle, those four bolts there, those are all inch and a quarter threaded rod. They go down six inches. They're epoxied in with uh, high strength epoxy. And then I put in 12 pieces of uh, 5 8 rebar. Those go down six inches. They're also epoxied in. And then I built this rebar grid on top of it, as you can see. Uh, the slab I'm putting on is, is going to be an additional eight inches. As it turns out, that existing one is uh, 24. So we're putting another eight on. We got 32. We need it. We need it 30. So the extra two inches is no big deal. Um, but yeah, it's going to come out nice. It's going to be secure. It's not going to move. Um, you know, it's not going to be quite as strong as if it were one piece. Um, but it's a lot stronger than if I just formed it and poured it right on top. I can tell you that. Even that bonding stuff. Um, you know, I, I know if the concrete's green, meaning it was just poured, you could use that bonding agent. Um, and, and you know what? People probably use it on older slabs too. But I like it this way better. Because um, mainly for... For my application, we're using it for, for the weight, for the ballast, because we're putting a big satellite dish on there. So the whole idea is it needs to be a certain amount of weight um, so we know it won't move at all during you know high winds, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. But thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.